Today we are welcoming Marcila from Colombia. Uh, we are in Slovene Roastery, uh, Buna's Roastery. Um, but the thing that we are trying to do as Buna, as a cooperative Buna, is to show people where coffee comes from, uh, how it is produced, and how people there live. So Marcila comes from Colombia, and Colombia is one of the famous countries, the most famous countries in the world, producing coffee. So Marcila, tell us about more about Colombian coffee. Yes, well, I would really love to invite you uh, to my country, to Colombia, because this kind of coffee that you can you can see here, the, the green bean, is what it's sent to the world. Um, and in order for us to get this quality of bean, there is five hundred, half a million coffee growers uh, waking up early, picking this coffee with their own hands, and it's a long, long tradition and a very hard work, appreciated in our country, but we don't know if appreciated in the rest of the world. Also, you have to know that the coffee drink in Colombia is not the best coffee. The best coffee, it's out there probably in your tables every morning. Um, so what we would like to do is um, bring a little bit the awareness of how important it is to drink good coffee, fair trade coffee that is uh, that is actually helping those uh, half million coffee growers to live better, to live a better life, to be able to give education uh, to their kids. And in order for us to do this, we need people like you that love coffee to come and see and even pick it, pick the coffee with your own hands and understand and live the life of a coffee farmer for even more than just one day. But Colombia is not the only uh, coffee growing country and not the only one who would like, which would like to raise awareness. So why Colombia, Tina? Because. <laughs> it's so simple. <laughs> but no, but seriously, when I was uh, digging uh, into the coffee phenomenon, of course, I uh, sooner or later, I got in, invited into these readings about Colombia. One thing I remember is that it's very versatile. We have a lot of small farmers. They're actually very poor farmers uh, with small uh, patches of land. It's like the average size is supposed to be 1.5 football fields. It's not really much of a, much of a land, but they are still producing um, very high quality coffees because of the environment that this tradition is taking it is being put into practice. The fact is that you get a lot of influence from ants, Andy, the high mountains, then with deep valleys uh, distributing uh, very cold air masses. So they influence in a way that you can grow very quality Arabica species, varietals, on a low, uh, lower uh, altitude. So you get the same performance of 900 meters above sea level like in Africa at, let's say, 2,000 meters. So it's a special kind of country because it collects a lot of different um, crops, a lot of different high-quality coffee beans, mm -hmm. although the country itself is trying to homogenize. They all collect these small batches into one couple of larger batches and they uh, sell to the rest of the world, world, world protected by the um, country's, um, let's say, coffee brand, which is Café de Colombia. But it's a shame because we should meet individual destinies of individual farmers. So that's why it would be very wise and uh, very good to, to get the opportunity of, in a way, to travel to your country, to your origin, and to see the working people, how they dig their fingers actually into the ground, into the soil, and take care of the plants. But this trip will be totally different because we are combining two things here. We are combining uh, Marcela's onboard traveling experience, and you will tell us more about that. Mm -hmm. And next to that, we will be joining that with the knowledge that Tina has or Puna has about coffee growing and telling all that in Slovene language, which is not a very uh, mm -hmm. common opportunity yes. in Colombia, especially. So, so you can imagine this trip, um, as I said, like being like in the eyes and the shoes of a coffee farmer. Maybe even meet the, the Juan Valdez that you see in, in the brand. It is a real person and we might be able to meet him. Um, but the idea is um, 
to really experience an authentic Colombia, uh, not, only, not only in the Colombian coffee region, that it's mainly three different departments, but also go to plantations where you can see the ocean high in the mountain, or where you can go through a valley, uh, or it, when, it, when they grow uh, near a lake. And with the knowledge that Tine has, we will be able also to taste and recognize these different kinds of flavors, why growing it near a volcano is different from growing in a, in a valley, for example. Uh, and actually, Colombia has a great advantage from different uh, countries of the world, which make us like sell more, and it's our weather. We can have two harvests uh, a year, so you will enjoy always a very, very good weather in our country. And although you, you will always feel comfortable, you will, you will actually live like a local. Eat, eat what, what they eat, see what they see, the landscapes in which they wake up every morning, which is fascinating. There's no resorts around, only Slovenian uh, discovering the, the quality, a, a great uh, experience. I hope drinking a good quality coffee, because as I said, we actually export it. Um, but even coffee grown by indigenous communities, which is the kind of coffee that we want to bring here in, in Slovenia. So in a way, you will become ambassadors of Colombian coffee. Well. <laughs> and from your perspective, why is it so important if you want to really know coffee to go to the coffee growing region? From my perspective, I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's come on board. Yeah, it's come on board. It's, uh, it's um, because coffee is very self-understood. We don't think much about coffee. Of course, when we gather around the coffee, we talk about many things, but we never talk uh, talk or think about coffee. So it's a coffee. We can understand coffee to be a trigger. For it, with a strong social impact, so it gathers around, it gathers a lot of people around the table, around the coffee cups. But we will never be so. Um, we will never think much about coffee, or talk about coffee, or we will never put ourselves to the test in a search for a good cup of coffee. Many people don't know, even understand what good coffee is supposed to be. So we can see the origin. We can meet the the people working uh, in the field, we can actually get fresh and unspoiled coffee. It won't be equipped with fancy names, uh, which do not exist among people in nature, but uh, what we see is the, well, the initial stage of the complete life cycle of the coffee bean. Because when you enjoy your cup of coffee, it's the final final stage is the actually is the death of the coffee because you drink it, you consume it. In uh, my eyes you are very important because you also uh, financially support this all these activities which which needs to be put in place, which needs to happen uh, if you want the coffee to be transported in front of you on your tables, in the bar, in your homes, wherever. And um, yes, from my perspective it will be physical contact with the origin of the Colombian bean. Whichever it might be, I, I believe that there are so many varieties of good quality and, uh, let me say, rich stories behind uh, growing this um, very precious plant. But we won't be only visit visiting coffee plantations, we will also visit cocoa plantations and some other very interesting things in Colombia. But before we go there, we have to at least learn the word for coffee in Colombia. <laughs> so it's really, 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 really easy. We call it café. It's café, but if you wanna, if you wanna know, like, okay. how do you say? <laughs> I would try. <laughs> coffee farmer, coffee grower, grower, we call it campesino or cafetero. And actually, the Colombian soccer team is very well known because of its quality, but also because they are recognized as the cafeteros, okay. which means the coffee farmers. Mm -hmm. And how do you order coffee in Colombia? Eh, Me das un café, por favor? <laughs> okay. So, just come with us and see for yourself. It's good to have Marcela with you. She knows for the coffee. <laughs>